Hey guys, so there is a new, uh, well I guess they're not new, Pleasant Valley is a seed company that has a new website called Grow Organic and I found them through a fantastic pin on Pinterest that was about this wallapini that was sunken and oh my gosh it was so beautiful. They had these raised beds that were just hanging from the ceiling so there were chains from the ceiling with platforms on them and that was where they had their seedling trays. Oh my gosh it was so fun. <sighs> Anyway, so they use the rigid plastic as their uh, greenhouse uh, windows, lights. The top of their greenhouse was made out of the rigid plastic, and so it was really light. And this is what they use to open the vents. It's called a univent. Univent. And why did I get one since I have a greenhouse? Well, the reason I got it is because I really wanted to show it to you guys. So if you don't have a greenhouse that has automatic venting, oh, the other reason is we're not sure we're gonna use the automatic venting in the greenhouse because it requires electricity and we don't have electricity run out there and it would cost something like $600 to run electricity out to the greenhouse. So I'm probably going to go out and manually open the vents. Um, because we're afraid we're going to start a fire running uh, extension cords out there. So we're trying to decide what we're doing about that. But in the meantime, I have cold frames. And my these are made in Denmark. And I'm so excited to show it to you. What it is, at least the way that I understand it, is that this arm has gas or oil or something in it. And so as the temperature inside the greenhouse increases this expands whatever's inside here whether it's gas or oil I don't know I need to read it whatever it is it makes it expand so what happens is it lifts the door lifts the lid on your greenhouse or lifts the lid on your cold frame and it just looks like one of those stopper hinges that you have on your screen doors and um, This is what it looks like when it's on. And um, <coughs> I don't think you could use a super, super heavy window with this, which is why I believe they used the plastic. Wow, all of the instructions are in German. I'm trying to find what the weight limit is that you can adjust it from being a tiny bit open to being all the way open, just however open you want it to be. Okay, and it, you should not use it when the temperatures are going to exceed 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So in our area, the hottest that it gets is about 105 during a super, super hot summer. Um, when I lived in California, the hottest that we had was I think 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, Maximum opening at 86 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on load and adjustment. And it is suitable for greenhouse vents weighing up to 33 pounds. Wow, that's actually pretty heavy for a vent. Your automatic window opener can be adjusted to start opening at temperatures between 63 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect because that's when things start to heat up a little more than what most plants like. Most plants like it somewhere between 65 and 79. Um, and so that would be perfect. Maintenance, lubricate all moving parts using a light oil after fitting each spring and as required during the summer. Apply petroleum jelly to the cylinder thread occasionally. And for winter storage, so you don't wanna keep this out in the winter, Remove the entire opener or the cylinder only if this is easier. Stored in a dry place during the winter, remember to lubricate the piston rod and the cylinder's threads before remounting the following spring. Check that the piston rod moves smoothly. The guarantee, it's guaranteed for two years. And for fitting, place the cylinder in a cool place for at least 30 minutes at max, at a max of 10 degrees Celsius. Check that the window in the greenhouse cold frame opens freely and is not obstructed. Remove existing casement stays and arms from the window and from the sill. So it looks super, super straightforward. And I absolutely love it. So I haven't tried it yet. Uh, we've had 
really typical Idaho weather where we have a really dry moment and then it snows. Like we've been really dry for a long time, like a few weeks. And now yesterday it snowed and we've got an inch of snow on the ground and it's really cold. So I am going to put all this back in the box. And once, once I have it installed on a cold frame, I am going to show you guys how it works and what it looks like. But for those of you who are in more temperate climates, less cold, I thought I would show this to you guys so you could really get a good head start on your cold frames. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was that I got all of my uh, ground cover, not ground, is it ground cover? My green manures and everything from them and it was super cheap. They had a dry pack, a dry, a dry climate clover mix that was $5 a pound and they had chicory and they had um, all sorts of really, really fun, amazing mixes of, of ground cover, uh, nitrogen fixing plants. And so I would, if I were you, I would go check them out, see what amazing things they have. And the best part, this is how I know that they're real, is that they carry Horizon Seed Herbs. <gasps> if anybody has business dealings with Horizon Seed Herbs, I know that I want to deal with them because I love Horizon Seeds. Um, I Horizon Herbs, I just love them. And I think they have such a high quality and such good character. And so that's that's one of the main reasons that I bought it from them was because I saw that they carried the Horizon Herb Seeds, which to me means that they're an honest company. Otherwise, Horizon Herbs wouldn't have any dealings with them. So that's super exciting. Something else to look out for. And we will talk to you later.